In tonight's Health Watch, still eating those Valentine's chocolates and feeling guilty about it? We've all heard those stories about chocolate's good for your mood and your heart. Well, CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here to tell us chocolate could also be good for a serious disease. How about this one, doctor? That's right. You know, it's actually the cocoa that chocolate is made from. And the serious disease is called peripheral artery disease, or PAD. It affects millions of people and it can be debilitating. The same disease process that narrows and blocks arteries in the heart also happens in the legs. John Connor is grateful to be able to walk around his Chicago neighborhood. The 62-year-old has peripheral artery disease, which leaves patients with debilitating pain, tightness, and cramping in the leg muscles. I couldn't walk one block without stopping. Uh, I couldn't go up a flight of stairs. I was in constant pain throughout the day. PAD is a narrowing of the arteries, which reduces blood flow to muscles in the legs. John was among 44 PAD patients who took part in a study at Northwestern University looking at whether cocoa could help. Some drank a cocoa beverage rich in flavanols, which scientists believe have heart health benefits. Others drank a placebo. Patients who drank the cocoa beverage were able to walk much further on a six-minute walking test. Those who drank the cocoa beverage had greater improvement in their skeletal muscle health. They also had greater improvement in the blood flow to their legs at six-month follow-up. Dr. Mary McDermott says while more research is needed, the findings are encouraging. This cocoa beverage, which is relatively inexpensive, widely available, and has virtually no side effects, is uh, a medical therapy that they can take. John continues to drink this special type of cocoa. I wasn't in a great deal of pain as I was before. He's also eating healthier and says it's made all the difference. Now, the dark chocolate cocoa drink used in the study contained the antioxidant flavanols and epicatechins that are thought to be responsible for the beneficial effects seen in the study. Now, milk chocolate and so-called Dutch processed cocoa powder are processed in a way that eliminates those nutrients, so that's not the same. But you can actually, the, the researchers didn't name what they actually you know, who, who, where they actually got the cocoa powder. But you can get, get it over the counter if you look for stuff that's very high in flavanols and this mm -hmm. epicatechins is the uh, is yeah. that stuff. Just avoid the stuff with a lot of sugar because then you're <laughs> going to get a lot of calories at the same the time. The real stuff, yeah. yeah. Thank All you, right. Dr. Max. You bet.